Hey everybody, Coulter here. In this short video I want to talk just a little bit about soil, kind of its importance, what you should know to get started. Alright, so you can see on my right side I've got one soil mix that we use and on my left side I have another. The BX mix, which is on my right, is a little bit finer, holds moisture a little differently than the BX, BRK mix. This is a bark-based mix, 20% bark-based versus a completely peat-based mix. And I'll tell you a little bit about what we've learned. In, say, our hanging baskets, like you see here, we use entirely bark mix. Um, anything that's a larger pot, we find that does that. Any plant varieties in smaller pots, too, that need more drainage will definitely use this. Um, the peat base mix is really great. It is a little cheaper, which is nice. We can get it compressed bales, which saves us on freight. That's the biggest reason I've used this in the past. Um, Pro Mix by Premier Horticulture also makes a few retail blends, which are very, very similar to the BX mix. You can find them in organic and non-organic um, at like wholesale box stores, so like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, places like that. Um, you'll find them like a blue and black, a yellow and black, red and black bag. These I get directly from my supplier, who is a wholesaler for Premier's products, so we can actually get some of their professional mixes, which if you're getting into this game professionally, I would highly recommend. They come with some extra bonuses that are really worthwhile. BX is Premier's most basic mix. It is mostly peat. Um, you can see it's pretty fine, not a lot of chunks. Um, it's, it's really good, it's really solid. It, we really like it. The plus, so anytime you get a pro mix that's a plus, it's gonna have a biofungicide and mycorrhizae. To the best of my knowledge, all of uh, Premier's mixes, so the pro mix brand, will have the mycorrhizae, which is a microorganism that helps the plants to pull nutrients from the soil. And the biofungicide is a bacteria, essentially, that attacks specific strains of funguses. So it helps suppress fungal disease in plants, which in turn also suppresses things like fungus gnats um, and thrips as well. Now this has been the closest, we started using the BX mix because it was really close to what we were used to growing in. Um, it's a really solid mix. It does hold a bit of water though. It doesn't drain it super well, so if you get a lot of cloudy weather, it's because it's mostly peat and it's so fine, it holds a little too much water almost in some cases if it's going to be cloudy. So this is the BRK20. This is a really commonly used mix in our area. It works really well. Um, this year we've used a lot more of it, and I think in the future, we will go to using pretty much only it, except for in our four packs. Um, the reason we won't want to use it in our four packs is it is a little too coarse in a lot of cases. You get these bigger chunks of bark and stuff in it. Um, this mix is a little bit more coarse and it dries out a little bit more consistently and a little bit better, which makes it really nice for growing a lot of different things, especially things like begonias and dahlias that need to have a little bit more breathability to the roots and not be able to drown things quite so much. It too has uh, biofungicide and mycorrhizae, which is really, really powerful for kind of getting a better start to your season and maintaining better health in your plants. Um, the other thing is we can get it in these 2.8 cubic foot loose fill bags, um, which is really nice. The biggest thing is it's kind of a freight killer to buy it loose fill bags, but the bark mixes only come in loose fill bags because they don't compress really, practically speaking. Um, whereas the BX mix, we have to run through my soil mixer here, um, which we run it all through, but the BX, we kind of have to because it, to get the most fillable use out of it, we have to kind of fluff it up, put the air back into it. So that's kind of just generally what we use and why we use it. Um, like I said, the BX mix is great for starting. It's cheaper, a little cheaper on free. Um, you do have to break it up a little bit better, make sure it stays mixed. Um, it does come a little drier as well, so we have to make sure that it gets hydrated uh, when we put it in a pot, especially if it's going to sit for a day or two before we can actually get it potted. Um, the 
the RK mix is definitely more well suited for a lot of things as it tends to dry out a little quicker which doesn't sound like a good thing except for the fact that it ensures a healthier root growth which is really great and it kind of suppresses fungus a little bit better. Um, we are really starting to prefer the VRK mix over the VX mix. If you do a lot of seeding and you don't, but not enough to justify a seeding specific mix, the VX is definitely going to be your tool. Fills smaller cells more easily, doesn't have larger particulate in it to plug up small cells. So we will still use it for things like seeding and our four packs and such, but in general, the bark mix is definitely the way to go. I hope you found this video helpful and useful or entertaining at the very least. If you can please hit that like button and the subscribe button. We'd like to hit 1,000 subscribers by June if possible, and we look forward to seeing you in the next production, guys.